Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I'm looking a hot mess because I just got to a country where one of my best friends in the whole wide world is. I am in Helsinki, Finland because Tashi is pregnant and she just got married to Yuka and I had to make sure that I came and these signs are in a different language. I'm gonna assume that this is, yeah, this is me. So they're coming to pick me up right now and I just got all my luggage. Guys, it has been a brutal, brutal flight. Like I had a 10 hour flight to London, five hour layover, in the Gatwick airport and then a three or four hour flight here. So I'm just exhausted. I did not sleep very much, which is kind of nice because it's like midnight here right now. So I'll definitely be able to get some sleep really quick. But I just wanted to come on quickly to record because I want to see Chachi's reaction because she's so excited. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long. I think it's gonna be pretty great. Oh my God, I didn't just see you get <laughs> This is a take two. <laughs> no. Look, she's here in Narnia. I'm in Narnia. I was walking and then I saw Chachi run. I just saw this pregnant woman waddling <laughs> towards me full speed with a big smile on her face. <laughs> that is all I saw, full speed ahead. And even that just like. Turn to this damn girl. Where'd you get all that belly from? Ayuka. I messed up and I forgot to film. Oh yeah. Welcome, my face. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to Finland on behalf of me, uh, Olivia, and Batman. Batman. <laughs> I got really excited and I thought I had pressed record, but I didn't. So. Anyway, we're here. <laughs> All right, it is officially a new day in Helsinki, Finland. Oh, oh, oh no, mom. It was happening. Oh, is it the stop, the, the stopping? lightning crutch. Chachi uh. gets something called lightning crutch. It's like a lightning pain in my cervix, but it kind of just feels like baby's fingertips are just like shoving oh. through it and pulling all of the life out of me. That sounds so terrible. So uh, surprisingly, I went to bed at like five o'clock in the morning. Surprisingly. <laughs> Shockingly enough, which was, I think that would have been 3 p.m. back home. Then I woke up around 9.30 and I was like, I'm ready to conquer the day. So, oh, oh. Never mind. You want me to take him really quick? That's fine. Are you sure? He's gonna walk through the pain. Oh my God. Chachi's had a very intense pregnancy in terms of just like feeling like, like shit. shit. Look at this little herd of children in their vests. Yeah, they drop off the babies at the playground in the morning and then they take them to their day for their preschool. No. And then, yeah, and then take them out throughout the day, but they all have to bundle up because it's so cold. Oh my God. All I see is these little blobs in yellow and, and they pink. Walk in lines like this. Oh. So we're just walking the boys, gonna take them for a little stroll at the dog park, go run around. Yeah, I take them to the dog park and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping a little bit. I'll give you guys a tour of the place I'm staying at. She's got a kitchen. Yeah, I got a good name. Rexy. Rex. Come here, handsome. <laughs> You're so pretty. Bandit. Bandit. Hi. Hey. Oh, the cutest boys. Look at that little butt. Are you kidding? Look at those butts. <laughs> <laughs> go get some fun now before we do some grocery shopping. This is Chachi's favorite spot. Hi. Oh man. Yeah, the the foga. Yeah. Yeah. Um can we get one number 6 with chicken and one with tofu? This is like the Finnish soda. It's called the Yaffa. Yaffa. Really yummy. I it's my favorite soda now. It's like um a Fanta but better. Better? I think it's better because it's really fresher. It doesn't feel as like oh. I don't know. That seems like a big ask. <laughs> it's really good. Right here. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. I get the big bottles and I <laughs> Yeah, this is it's like less carbonated yeah, than it's less a soda. Yeah. yeah. So when we went to McDonald's yesterday, I was like, can I get a Sprite? And Chachi was like, oh, it's probably gonna be sugar-free. And I was like, what? I was like, okay, can I get a Yeah, and then I was like, that's also sugar-free. I was like, okay, can I just get a Coca-Cola? Everything is sugar-free here. Mm -hmm. Oh, snap. It's going down. <laughs> oh, wow, she's going kind of crazy right now. Yeah, I'm pregnant. Yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do like a fraction of what she did. <laughs> I may have gotten a little too crazy, but it's fine. I do like a lot of the plum sauce. That is not a fraction, it's like the same sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the 
We're doing a little bit of grocery shopping. I'm gonna get some Stalab lilies. Oh my god, they're so little. You know why? Because they don't have hormones pumped in yeah. them. Look at how little they are. Oh my god, Chachi. They're so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get some apples. You wanna say apple and finish? No. Omena. Omena? So, just got back from doing some grocery shopping. It was a nice little walk, but I got so much heavy, like canned stuff, that the walk back was brutal because it was all in this bag, which is pretty heavy. But before I take you guys through my groceries that I got, I wanna give you guys a tour of this place that I'm staying at. So basically, obviously, Yuka is a really big deal in Finland. He's like the Stevo from Jackass of Finland. So his friend owns this building and it was renovated. So on one side, you can buy the condos on this side, you can rent them out. I thought I was just gonna stay with Chachi and Yuka, but they ended up getting me my own studio, which is even better because I love my personal space. And this place is so nice. It's very Scandinavian style. So let me show you the hallway first. Okay, so this is the hallway. All of the doors have like these gold accents. So you enter in your code right here and then you walk in very Scandinavian style so gorgeous I'm in love so there's like this really nice big closet here so this is one of the closets there's like a cute little coat closet here and then I didn't know what this was but Chachi was saying if I have like a food delivery or someone knocks on the door and um, it's a webcam or it's like a camera and I'll be able to say when someone's ringing the doorbell and I can see who's at the door there's another wardrobe set right here and it continues on to this really nice I guess dresser right I mean it's just drawers I have a like a little Romeo and Juliet balcony as you can see it's so cute come out here and just kind of see what's happening on the terrace really cute this is my little dining area It's really cute because the door lady her name is also Jasmine thought she had told her that I was coming so she wrote best friend Jasmine and she gave me a chocolate bar it's so cute and then look at the kitchen oh it's so so nice this is an oven that also doubles as a microwave Chachi was teaching me what all these settings mean. This is the stove top and then the cabinets. Also, the tap water in Finland, like Chachi told me, she's like, nobody buys bottled water out here if you do that, that's super weird, like it's a waste of your money. And so I tried the tap water last night and it's the best tap water I've ever had in my life. It tastes better than bottled water in America. I, I can't. <laughs> it's so fresh, it's so delicious. I just, I'm, I'm mind blown by that. So this, Tall thing is the fridge. So awesome. And I, I think that's, is it just a, I guess it's just a fridge. Oh no, the freezer's right here. Moving on, we have the little seating area. It's like a nice little chair and a tiny little coffee table. My little sofa, so cute, so comfortable as well. I almost passed out on this last night. And then here is my bed, my little stomping grounds. And then, haha, <laughs> the bathroom, which is probably like this. This whole thing is so nice. I've never seen a studio quite like it before. Um, so you slide this open, and you've got like a cute little European bathroom in here. It's pretty common in Europe to have towel warmers on the walls. I know that uh, when I would go to London and stuff, they always had this, so I just hung my towel here. And then this is the shower, and it's actually quite a spacious shower. I really like it. So yeah, the place is actually pretty small, but it's actually pretty spacious, especially since it's just me. Like, it feels like more than enough space. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys just like a quick little tour of where I'm staying, because it's really awesome here. And seriously, shout out to Chachi and Yuka. Thank you guys so much for helping me and getting me taken care of for staying here. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly set up my camera so that I can give you guys my little grocery haul video and then I'm probably just gonna relax for a little bit. Yeah, so it is currently 12.35 here. Back home, it is 2.35 in the morning. So surprisingly, my jet lag is not absolutely destroying me yet, which is really nice. So I'm trying to like push as much as I can. Okay, let me set up and show you guys the groceries I got. Okay guys, so I'm gonna sit on the ground to show you guys the groceries that I got. Uh, once I'm done, I wanna talk to you guys about like how much everything has costed me so far that you guys can kind of get an idea. But I will say, when it came to food, I didn't buy a ton. I bought definitely a, a lot of like breakfast things, midday snack things, things to hold me over. But I didn't necessarily want to buy a bunch of groceries because I do want to eat out a little bit here. But I also want to be like cost efficient as well. So, uh, Chachi recommended these. I guess it's like a, a guy that just made really good, you know, pre-made foods. It's a chicken tikka masala. I thought that would be a nice quick thing to make. I got some strawberries. You can never go wrong with berries. And they're so tiny here. And it's because these are clearly not pumped with hormones. Oh, I hope I didn't crack any of these. I probably did. Oh, no, I didn't. I got a little box of some eggs so that I can make myself some scrambled eggs in the morning. Not eating 
eating red meat right now. I wanted turkey bacon, but they didn't have any there. But I did get some like turkey lunch meat, so I could either make sandwiches with this, or I can add it to my scrambled eggs. But yeah, I thought that would be nice. Also, how tiny are these slices? I got some almond milk. I wasn't able to get like my specific unsweetened vanilla. I think obviously out here it's a little bit different, but I definitely got this because I don't drink dairy. And apparently all of the milks out here are basically lactose free, which I thought was interesting. Moving on, I got some bread. Also, shockingly tiny, shockingly tiny slices of bread. There's an average amount in here. I think it's like 10 slices, but it is so little. I also got myself some oat milk because there is that coffee machine, which I do plan to use. So I figured I could make myself some oat milk tea or coffee or whatever, you know, got that. Got myself some oatmeal. I didn't even know this is oatmeal because it says, Nale pica cola hiotalita. Nale pica cola hiotalita. <laughs> so I got myself some oats a lot. Probably won't need all these, but the nice thing is Chachi is gonna continue staying in Finland when I'm gone so they can just have whatever groceries I don't finish. Granny Smith apples, because you can never go wrong with apples, especially when there's peanut butter involved. This is a random side thing. I got myself some cheap little brushes because I want to do like a mic microphone ASMR brushing video and all of mine are dirty and I didn't feel like cleaning them so I figured I'd just buy some cute little cheap ones. This is Chachi's huge cucumber. It's not supposed to be in here. <laughs> organic nighty night infusion tea. I really like the packaging on this and apparently everything is like organic and fair trade and all that. So as you guys know, I was smoking weed for a long time to help me with sleep. I've since limited the amount that I smoke. I still smoke here and there, but it was actually kind of making me more of an insomniac. So sleepy tea has been amazing. It knocks me out. I literally never believed in this because I was like, w okay, what is sleepy time realistically going to do? But this tea, I mean, not, I don't know about this brand, but just sleepy tea in general, wild. Nutty. Some of this for myself. Got some limes to add to my water. I hear that the ciders are very good out here from Yucca. So I got myself some Summer's Bee apple ciders for a nice little, nice little drink in at home. I got myself a ton of baked beans <laughs> because I love baked beans and it's a classic English breakfast out here. So I figure some eggs and then baked beans and toast would just make the best morning breakfast ever. And then of course some Oreos because everything was really healthy and I feel like I deserve some sort of unhealthy snack while I'm here. So as I was saying, it is now my second day in Finland and I didn't really vlog anything today because honestly I am still dealing with some pretty bad jet lag. So surprisingly my jet lag is not absolutely destroying me yet, which is really nice. It's like uh, four o'clock right now and I think it's like seven o'clock in the morning. So in a way it feels like I just pulled an all nighter, which I didn't, but <laughs> Anyway, okay, well I guess I kinda did pull an all-nighter, but not here. Yuka keeps getting me drinks at nighttime, and then last night I had abs. I just, I don't even, I feel like I'm not even speaking, and it's not even making sense. So it's my second day. Today, Chachi and I just kinda took it easy. We went and got some, like, a, a massage at this really nice hotel called Hotel Camp, and then I went to get a blow dry because my hair was looking a little crazy. But I wanted to basically just tell you guys about kinda how much I'm spending, what my costs have been so far, and what you guys can kind of expect coming here, because I think that this was the first time that I tried to be more cost efficient, except for with the Flights. If I have a flight that's over seven or eight hours, I typically try to get myself business class just because I hate it and I have the means to be able to do that every now and then. So I did book business for this class. However, starting with flights, I did a cheaper airline. I went through Norwegian Airlines, which is a low budget, more cost effective airline. And I believe like last year or the year before they opened up their premium class or their business class. So the seats don't completely lay flat and you don't really have your own private booth. The seats are all still next to each other, but they recline quite far. And with the next pillow, you have your own private TV, you still get premium meals, you get alcohol, you get all of the things just without that privacy of the flat lay bed and kind of your own little nook. But I believe I paid $1,600 round trip and I believe economy would have been something like 800 bucks. So I feel that it is worth the double down payment just because I think my travel time was 23 hours and it was brutal. So it was really nice to just know like for that 11 hour flight or whatever that I was just gonna be able to lay flat. I was in a middle seat, which kind of sucked, but even with that, I was still very comfortable. That's it for flights. However, with the place I am staying at, I got incredibly lucky because Chachi and Yuka, uh, Yuka knows the guy who owns this building, so they got me the studio for free. And then another thing to be really cost efficient in Finland is that there are trams and a lot of like just the tram public transportation system is really, really good here. So whenever you need to go down the block or go to the shopping areas and stuff, you hop on the tram, it's two or three stops, super easy. I went grocery shopping, as you guys saw earlier, I spent 75 pounds, that's probably like 90 
US dollars, but it's gonna last me pretty much for at least for the next four days. I looked at my credit card to see my spending since I got here, and I think I'm only at 300 euros. So one of the nights I bought a round of drinks for me and Yuka, cause that guy, literally, I don't even get the chance to pull out my debit card because he's already paying for it. So I was like, hey, this round's on me. Uh, bought the groceries, obviously the massage that I had today, but I just feel like I'm saving so much money here. That's kind of everything so far. I know that this wasn't the most exciting vlog, but it was. I wanted to kind of do like settling into Finland, an apartment tour in Finland. I wanted it to be more casual day in the life vlog. The next videos to come will be like eating like a Finnish person for the day or some tourist things. We might go to Estonia, I think. We might take the boat because I guess it's like an hour ferry ride. So I've got some fun stuff planned. For now, I am jet lagged and I need to send this footage to my editor. But I could go to sleep because I am so tired. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests for videos that you want to see while I am in Finland and Amsterdam and possibly now Paris as well, make sure to comment those down below or give me any recommendations on things to do. Yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.